This video covers the idea of position. Whenever we talk about position, we usually talk about an object's position relative to the x and the y-axis. In order to describe where an object is located, we also use a coordinate system. So coordinate systems have the following properties. They must have an origin, also known as a zero point, and we must specify which way is positive. So let's complete an example to further explain work with this idea. Katie is standing five meters to the left of Phil, and Sandy is two meters to the right of Phil. So since these three people are only moving or positioned in one dimension, we only have to draw one axis, or the x-axis. Let's first draw in Katie at this point, and we know that Phil is standing five meters to her right, so we can draw in Phil at this point, and finally, Sandy is standing two meters to Phil's right. So this is where everybody is standing. So for this first coordinate system that I'm about to do, I've decided to call the direction of to the right positive. So if we say that Katie is at point zero, or the origin, this means that Phil must be at point five, and Katie must be at point seven. And in the in-between numbers are as shown. This is just one example of a coordinate system that describes this situation. We can draw an infinite amount of numbers into our number line, and that will still describe these same positions of these three people. So let's look into this a little bit more. Now let's assume that Phil is at the origin. This means that Sandy is going to be at point two, and Katie is going to be at point negative five. These numbers that we have placed on our coordinate system are different, but they still show the same distance between the three different people. So let's try another coordinate system where no one is positioned at the zero point. So let's position Katie at the point negative 15. This means that Phil will be placed at the point negative 10 and Sandy at negative eight. Hopefully that makes a little bit more sense now. But now we're going to mix it up a little bit and decide that the numbers going to the left are going to increase. In other words, we're going to say now that the positive direction is pointing towards the left. So if we place Phil at the origin, and since we're going to the left, and now the left is positive, this means that Katie is going to be at point 5, and Sandy will be at point negative 2. Do you see that as we go down the coordinate system to the left, points increase in value? This is because we decided to call the positive direction towards the left. And once again, we don't necessarily have to put anybody at the origin. Let's put Phil at the point 53. With left being positive, this makes Sandy at the point 51 and Katie at the point 58. Hopefully you have a good idea about how to represent different positions with different coordinate systems. The next step into coordinate systems is to increase the dimensions from one coordinate system, so one dimension, the x-axis, to two dimensions. So you might see, have seen this kind of two-dimensional coordinate system before, perhaps in math class. The vertical axis is the y-axis, and the horizontal axis is the x-axis. To label a point on this graph, you place in parentheses the x value first and then the y value second. Let's do an example. Let's plot the point 3 comma negative 2. On these kinds of coordinate systems, we always call up the positive direction, and to the right or in the po is the positive x direction. And we are going to assume that every tick mark on this graph paper is equal to one unit of displacement. So for the point 3, negative 2, we start at the origin, and we travel in the positive x direction three spaces, and then down in the negative y direction, two spaces, which lands us at the point 3, comma, negative 2. Let's do another example. Let's plot the point negative 4, comma, 5. This means that we are going to travel four spaces in the negative x direction, and then five spaces in the positive y direction, and we finally arrive at the point negative 4, comma, 5. 